everybody. Hi! Good afternoon. It is in fact Pokemon time. Hope, thank you so much for gifting a sub to the channel. I really appreciate it. It helps keep me doing what I'm doing. Let's go check in real quick. Hi! Ah! Happy Sunday, everybody! Hello, Frozen! Thanks for tuning in. Work. That's really appreciated. I hope your work is going well. That is awesome. And uh, yeah, we are going to be going into Johto. Nope, Kanto. I always get this to start again. We're going into Kanto. We have finished Johto. We beat the Elite Four last week. And I put the poll out to you guys of are we going to start a new game, something else, or do we keep going? And the vote was to keep going. So here we are. <laughs> oh, hope, amazing. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow, feeling good, feeling good. Uh, very, very sort of like optimistic at the moment, which is nice. Hopefully that feeling uh, continues. Um, I just have to do the old annoying thing of every single week the uh, overlay see, appears to break. Even though, again, I do everything required to make sure that it doesn't, it does. So let's open this up. Yep, that is broken. Okay, give me one moment then to rectify this. Let's very quickly put this on just so we're not sat in silence. There we go. Fitting, fitting music. There we go. Wah. And the reason this week why this wasn't done beforehand is because I had to go give Sadie her afternoon medicine. Poor baby. She's been moved from uh, the kitchen to the living room. I say moved. She was al she's always been able to move wherever she wants, but she chooses to stay in the kitchen because that's where like her food and her water bowl uh, and like her bed were well we put we put her bed because when we moved it seemed apparent that she wanted to stay there but now we've taken that decision away from her and we're like you are going to sleep in the living room because it is winter and the kitchen is cold 
and you are refusing to not sleep in the freezing cold kitchen even though you're 20 years old. Very old for a cat. So we're like, no, you need to stay where it is warm. You are going to become unwell if you insist on sleeping in the cold room. So a bit of, a bit of cruel to be kind kind of thing of like she's upset that we've moved her bed and all her stuff and she keeps wandering back into the kitchen like she's looking for it and we're always like no you have to stay in the living room there goes the controller uh you have to stay in the living room it is warmer there the floor is carpeted we have the warm fireplace and it's just better insulated than the tiled kitchen which is very cold at the moment there we go okay overlay is uh done Two bits of music playing. There we go. Make sure that this is functioning. Ah! Look at that full line of badges. I feel like I should put like a gold star or something to be like, yay, we beat the Elite Four. I get like a old star PNG somewhere. Surely. I love that it is literally always the case on Google of you Google PNG and you don't get PNGs. <laughs> Okay, uh, f f this is the bit I need to check. Yep, there we go. Okay, we're good. Man, look at this team! Look at this team. There we go. Right. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the real goal here is to get Banuka an upgrade and get them evolved. That's the real goal here. That's what we want to do. We want to we wanna get Banuka evolving. Fuck all of these extra gym badges. Fuck doing the Elite Four again. We don't care about Mount Silver and Red. We probably won't even get that far. What we want to do is we want to get over to Silphco, get ourselves an upgrade, and evolve Banuka. Finally! And see what they I'm just out of curiosity going to look up what is the level range of the gym leaders once you get to Kanto. Ah! Oh, thank you for gifting another sub! Ah! I'm gonna head out now. Thank you, Ho! Thank you so much! Yes, you gave me some blizzy! Yo, woof! So many woofs. Thank you so much. I hope you have a good Sunday! You take care. <laughs> That's a great way to get started. Right, what's our level range? Let's see. Uh, 53, 55, 56, 54, 50, 52, 59. Highest is 60 Viridian Dream. Okay. And we're going to be... That, that is in level order, so I mean we're... We could keep going, I guess. We'll see how we do at Vermilion. We, we will land in Vermilion, and then we can go north to Saffron, where Silphco is. That is the goal. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, this is gonna be so jank. Oh wow, it's massive. So professional.
There we go. We've got a gold star. To signify we beat uh, uh, the, the Elite Four once. Okay. So, we need to take the ferry. Over at Olivine. There's also a, a Raikou just walking around still. And, and Suicune, but Suicune's stuff is, like, more scripted. Um, trying to think. Uh, we can't get ho -Oh yet. Uh, right. Who is it I talk to? Down here. Here we go. Professor? Hello! You are starting to have the, the attitude of a champion, though. It's time for your Pokedex to match who you are. Let me see your Pokedex for a second. I'll upgrade your Pokedex with the national mode. Yay! It won't be easy to complete the national deck, so however, I'm sure you'll make an honest attempt on our behalf. No, I won't. Oh, time flies. I have a radio show at Golden Rod Tower. To radio Tower. Uh, you must be heading for Kanto. If you come near Pallet Town, do you drop by my research lab? Yeah, that's where that's where we get the ice and to go to Ho Ho, I believe. <laughs> Aww. Right. Hello. SS Aqua, may I see your ticket? Phew. Oh, you have a ticket. We're departing soon, so get on board. I, just, I like how, like, the guy, the, um... Oh, you must be the last passenger. I like how the guy at the Elite Four was literally like, well, I have an Abra to teleport people home, but nobody ever does it anymore because we can all fly. I'm like... We can fly. Ooh. Hello. Whoa, excuse me, I was in a hurry. My granddaughter is missing. She's just a wee girl. If you see her, please let me know. I was standing still. Most passengers are trainers. They're all itching to battle in their cabins. Isn't one of these cabins supposed to be mine? Jesus, okay. This is going to be so funny if we end up losing on this ship. I'm twisted already. Don't say that! I have confidence! I mean, this guy was level 40, so he is lower level than the Elite Four, so we're probably fine. <laughs> that is what we call instant karma. Ah. Ow. Stop it. <laughs> I'm doing so little damage. Dots, 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 dots. How many dots can you get on a Pokemon? Because neither of those are status conditions. So you could get like a but you could I think you you can't you can't burn and poison but you could have so you could have sandstorm a burn and whirlpool or or maybe you can't have a burn if you've got whirlpool I don't know I'm sure that's something that you could probably just Google how many dots can you get on a Pokemon. Oh, Baneri has appeared! 
isn't your mom worried? A little bit. You think I'm a baby? That's not fair. I'm not a baby. It's not a nice thing to say. <gasps> Little baby! Little baby man! Little baby! Kecleon and a mana trick. Okay. Part of me is still, is still just every time Medgar is set out, it's like, wow, I have a shiny in this playthrough. I mean, yeah, it was scripted, but the fact that it's like different, different, it's just novel. Okay, bye! <laughs> now that was a little bit of clever of I know that this Kecleon will change type if I use this attack so I'm gonna use an attack and then use one that it will become weak to stratagems don't dive again Forward this. There we go. We lost. Right. I, I feel. I feel like one of these cabins is meant to be mine, as in a place for me to heal. This one. I might be confusing this with the original, uh, counter. Here's your cabin. Ah, if your Pokemon are hurt, take a nap in the bed. That will heal them. Comfy bed! Ah. There we go. They even put a PC in for me. Wait. No, okay. I was gonna be like, how does... I was like, sure, surely you can't... I feel like, po I mean, hi Vaz. My brain is like, yeah, po Pokemon go in the PC and they kind of get maybe digitized in some way in order for that to work. But my brain was still just kind of like, surely you can't send a Pokemon via Wi-Fi. That needs to be like a wired connection. So I was like, how does the PC work on a boat? But I'm like, it's Pokemon. Sure, it probably does work via Wi-Fi. My brain was still thinking of, like, the link cable from, you know, Game Boy era. Of, like, you need to send Pokemon via a link cable. So, no, we can trade Pokemon via Wi-Fi, silly. That's a non-problem. But my brain, for a brief second, was, like, really concerned about it. I'm like, how does that Look! Power! Time for caution to be thrown to the wind! There you yeah. go. So this is, this is essentially a little bit of an XP grinding fest of there's gonna be people in all of these rooms that you can battle. There's like, this is just like leveling, leveling time. <gasps> this one's got a wee! He's a steepus!
It's also one of those scripted things like the uh, in the first games where it's like you can't get off the boat until you find the, the guy's daughter. Can I get you to look for my buddy? He's taking it easy somewhere that good for nothing. I want to go find him on guard duty, but I have to stay right, right here. Is that the guy that I just ran into? I remember that uh, slow transfer on wire trades. <laughs> for me, it was the anticipation. Hello, another fly gun. It, it was, I remember. I remember loving watching the animation of the Pokemon going along the tube, and then like the the other person receiving it. I would like look over at my friend's screen to see them receive it, and then I'd I'd watch watch it come back down the tube and be like. Ee. Especially because quite often it would be like the reason we were trading is because the other person had the other version. Of course you have substitute. So I would always be curious like how the sprite looked different as well. <sighs> Back when different versions had different sprites. Stop using substitute! Wow, that hurt. It's that fast forwarded music there. Taking off the wire while the Pokemon was trading because you thought it was done. Oh no, I was terrified of doing that. I was like, we're gonna leave it, we're gonna leave it an extra couple of seconds. Is it you? Are you the person I need to wake up? Yes, it was. I resent the implication! <laughs> right, right, right. Losing to you has woke me up. I remember my ways of hard work. Can you keep a secret that I was taking a nap here? Don't tell the captain. There you go. GG, easy. Uh, yeah, actually. I was like, shall I, shan't I? Yeah, I'll give Banuka the XP share just so that they're getting topped up since they're the furthest behind. I mean, to you, chat, I was irresponsible last night. I was up way too late. Way too late. The moment I looked at the clock and saw how late it was, I was like, immediate regret. I was like, oh no, I'm going to wake up so late tomorrow. And I did, and I regret it. And I feel bad. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> I like going in VR at the weekends, but I think tonight I have to not go in VR because I just cannot keep track of time. And I need to do better. <laughs> I need to rectify last night. <laughs> like, I'm not going to stop going in VR, obviously, but like, I got to stop going in VR at like 10 o'clock because my brain is like, you can go. You can go in VR for like ten hours. Uh, t ten hours, definitely not. You can go in VR for like two hours and log off at midnight, and I never do. It always ends up being one, or in in, in yesterday's case, two. It was two a.m. and I was like, "That's too late." Oh, my body hates me. I was waiting till 12 to get into VRC, but falling asleep and woke up at 4am. You guys go to VR too late! 
You guys going to VR too late? <laughs> Why do all my friends have to live in other countries? All of my other friends that live like 20 minutes away are just like going, what the fuck? <laughs> Twelve o'clock is when I should be going to bed, not getting into VR. Let's go this way. Oh dear, are you being sick? Yep. Blech. I can be tonight, tomorrow I have the evening shift. That's neat. But I said, I don't, I don't know, I don't think I should go in VR tonight, because I'll lose track of time again, I need to rectify the, my sleep schedule. <laughs> I feel like my ideal time for me to go in VR is like, maybe 9? Like, I could, go, I could go into VR by 8, but like, maybe 9 is like, the ideal time for me to go in VR, but like, hardly anybody's ever on at that time. I always go, the way I do it is I go onto the website and I, I log into the website and see who is online and if no one's online then I don't bother. Which I guess is why I inevitably end up going into the Discord and be like, is anybody going into VR tonight? Because I sometimes think that maybe people do the same. Of like they go on the, they go on the website, see nobody's on, and then nobody ends up logging on. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to you. Alright. Oh, the music actually goes quiet in here. Are you the person I'm looking for? Le Chef? A Sasuke? That almost seems like something normal for you to have. always confuses me because it's the it's the like the animation for eating a berry and I'm like you don't have a berry <laughs> it's it's meant to signify that the quick claw is triggering saffron celadon i hear there are many big cities in kanto so you're not the person i'm looking for The captain's quarters is above the engine? That doesn't seem right. Are you sick? <laughs> I love the little mug sprite. That's cute. This little girl keeps asking me to play with her. Please don't stretch my ear. Captain, please play with me, please. I'm bored. I want to play more. Are you going to play with me? Let's play hide and seek. I'll hide. You go close your eyes. Thank you for playing with her. You may be, think being a captain is somewhat an easy job, but it's actually quite demanding. The little passenger has gone out of the room. She can't get off the ship, so she must be hiding somewhere. Yeah, I love I love these little sprites on his desk of like the roll. I think I guess the the map and the book and the mug. They're cute. I like those. Yeah, he's the captain. I was like, well, this ca captains don't have their. Captains don't situate themselves above the engine. She butts in do and does nothing, just ignores a stellar adult performance. <laughs> That's true. A member of your, your you know, crew. No, not crew, because that'd be the staff. But like, you know, the people, who, your passengers is missing their child and she comes into your cabin and you, you're just like, please go away. 
I better go back to Grandpa. You only have to find her once. Here I am. I was playing hide and seek with this girl. Who was it? I heard you entertained my granddaughter. I want to thank you for that. Take this. Metal coat. That's actually useful. We've arrived! A great cherish ball. Oh, you want a shiny one, do you? Sneep. Sneep time. What I want to see in rooms like this is like an enormous dog bed that's like here to be like, this is where the Pokemon sleeps. Hello, Core. Aqua has arrived in Vermilion City. Ooh, look at the glass floor. Weird. You came dressed. Oh, I envy you. I hear many rare Pokemon live over there. That's literally what the person on the other side says. Hi, how are you? I was curious if you played Infinite Fusion. Yes, we have. We have played Infinite Fusion. We had a grand old time for like three months. We had people like deciding in chat on like what we would fuse. It was great. Trainers gathering can so gym leaders are especially strong. They won't be easy to defeat. Great. Let's get to the Pokemon Center to register the flight location. The best field fusion was Miltank and Miltank. It was not! No, it was not! <laughs> no. Donations for the fusions, yeah. It was fun. It was fun. That's a game that would probably be really, really chaotic to play randomized. Fan club. I was like, why do you have a mark on your door? I'm the chairman of the fan club. I raised over 150 Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. Did you visit just to hear about my Pokemon? Sure. Listen up, my precious Rapidash. I remembered that he had a Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, adorable, irresistible, plus amazing. Don't you think so? Oh, so wild, beautiful, kind. I love it. I hug it. It's warm and cuddly. It's spectacular, captivating, simply divine. I treasure it. Oh, look at the time I kept you for too long. Thanks for having me out. I want to give you this. Oh, a piece of candy. I just woke up. Well, good morning. I can't tell. Does anybody have a shiny in the PCG? Uh, is there a special mark on them? Uh, I don't, but apparently they exist. Yeah, you can get shinies in the game. You can get shinies. You got a Discord? I do! Thank you, Core, for linking the Discord in. Yeah. Welcome to Pokemon Sunday, where every Sunday we just play a Pokemon game. We're currently doing our randomized Nuzlocke playthrough. As you can see, we've just made it into Kanto. Why does it feel like my game is lagging? That's very bizarre. Also, I'm going to save. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. <laughs> God damn it, I'm going to need cut. You're right faster than me. <laughs> Bless you guys. I need cut at this stage of my life. Oh no, I can swim around. That's good. Oh boy. Look at the Snorlax! Look at the Snorlax! Look at this sprite. That's so good. Annoying that that sprite is not the same sprite that follows behind you. Pokemon is preparing the land for construction, but I have no money to start the project. Then why are you bothering? Cameron the photographer? Yeah! Smile, everyone! Look 
this team! Get ahead of it before somebody asked. <laughs> Training him next week, probably. If this were another game, you'd be asked to bring that guy money and he'd build you a house. This is true. Well, we're in a race against the sandstorm now, Silicon. I didn't lead with Banuka. I should have led with Banuka. They've got the sleep move. question would you like to be friends i mean i don't know who you are we could maybe become friends if we get to know each other but i don't know you <laughs> i'm sorry for the frank answer <laughs> i need a pokemon bud oh man we got loads of people who love pokemon in the discord we play pokemon every sunday we also have a Pokemon game that runs in the Twitch chat, if you haven't played that. If you do exclamation mark, uh, Pokestar, then you can get a, po a, a Pokemon. Wait, did it Una reverse my sleep? Damn. Hell yeah. There we go, we got a Silcoon! Thanks for joining the server! Uh... I know what I'm calling this. I cannot spell... How do I spell? Is it double T? It is double T. At a... Tune. Yeah! It's a whole new world we live in! It's a whole new place to see! <laughs> it's a brand new place with a brand new attitude, but you still gotta catch them all. <laughs> I made a decision if I were a gym trainer, I'd be a bat trainer and have the cave badge. I'd have all the bat types, which are oddly all flying types. Oh, that's cool! I like that. A flying type trainer that's using bats instead of birds. That's neat. I would be- I want to be the- I would be the dog trainer. <laughs> I just have loads of dogs. Or- or also a flying type. It would be either all dogs or all birds. I would be flying type or- or the dog trainer. Which, if you take- I think if you take the average of the Pokedex, the most, uh, canine... We never answer Ethan's call. Does Ethan have anything interesting to say? How are you? It's so helpful, Pokemon Center. Uh, I know what a Pokemon Center is for. I thought you would have something interesting to say, Ethan, because we're in a new region. 
Damn, we got good cell service. Stealth rock, okay. Be the best that you can be. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 you could be a flying type trainer, but none of your Pokemon have wings. <laughs> yep. So the wild Pokemon is was level 14, you know. The trainers still level like 40 though. Camera up. They are! Damn, the effect on the wild population must be absolutely hellish. love the effort that Cerebi Joe went to, that on the Cerebi page for all the gym leaders, they've got screenshots of, of them next to the gym leader, and in every screenshot he's got he's got a Celebi as his, like, walk partner, which means that he did the Celebi event and then went back and took those screenshots so that there would be a Celebi in the picture. The dedication. Tropius. Tropius has wings, they're just also leaves. Another double vowel, huh? To fire, huh? It's all good for me. I pretty much decided I'd be a steel bug trainer. I feel like this conversation always comes around every few months or so of like, what would your your team be and stuff like that. It's funny. It's funny because me and Curls both have the thing where like our apps, our favorite. Pokemon is not the t necessarily the type that we think we would be. Like, Curls' favourite Pokemon is Ninetales, but she would be a ghost-type trainer. And my favourite Pokemon is Arcanine, but I would be a flying-type or a dark-type trainer. <laughs> I say that because dogs, because dark is like the most common type for dogs. Who besides Scissor are you going to be the first gym leader? <laughs> Arcanine! No! Ah. Deception! really happy when I figured that all my favourite actual animals can be articulated over into Pokemon and I'm working on a character for it. Ooh, fun! Definitely share. And maybe a few comic pages for a pretend run. Holy shit, that's awesome! There you go, that one, that one was a one and done. <laughs> Can I just... Oh my god. I don't even have to fight Surge, I can just go straight here. Rosalia! What's the state of my quests at the moment? I only need to catch two more event Pokemon? Oh damn. I should do that. How many Pokeballs do I have? Uh, ten. Okay. Hi, Den! How you doing, sweetie?
Where's Silphco? Hello, I am here to not rob you, officer. Hello. <laughs> Somebody here gives me an upgrade. The elevators have order. Something is wrong with the electricity. Upgrade! Let's fucking go. <laughs> yes. Right. So I went I went back to the randomizer page to actually re-clarify how this works. So any any um evolutions that were you need to trade it with a held item is now just you need to level it up with that item held. So we just need to level the nuker up. Don't call me Uncle Psychic. Mr. Psychic's house. What? You redeemed a golden ticket and got 3,000 poker dollars. Money? Ah, just money's kind of lame. <laughs> okay, how are you? I'm good. I'm very good. I'm very tired. I was up way too late. I already got a Guzzlord, an Obstagoon, a golden ticket, and a bunch of timer balls. I doubt I'll get the 40 event pokes before the event, the event day is over. I need one more for timer balls, and I have to do something for a crocodile. Dang. Yeah, I'm not getting any- I wasn't catching nearly as much stuff as I should have been. For this- this whole event. In comparison to the dog event, where I threw pokeballs at, like, everything. I got it! You wanted this! Okay. Thanks, I guess. I'm glad that, like, modern games uh, made TMs reusable. That was a thing for, like, a long time in the franchise, of TMs were one-time one use items. Like, now, now you can just keep using them. Or should I say that, like, you can get more of them with the machine is what I mean oh new zone I didn't even register a main trick dog there needs to be at least five active PCG players in the chat that did not receive a present in the last 20 minutes I mean, we, we've got five active PCG players. What are you talking about, game? Quick ball, my beloved! Come on, it matches the colour scheme! Ah! Five players beside the gifter. Ah. Uh, maybe. That too, yeah. No, we have exactly five people. Well, you know what you got to do, guys? That means you've got to, like, go tell your friends to come watch the stream. Fastball. Ain't a trick a fast Pokemon. I don't have friends. I a joke to you? Ah! You're already here! <laughs> I'm a tell girls! <laughs> I'm a tell das. There we go. Dog.
I could go turn on Spook's PC, which I did joke about last week. Seven gets you an additional 50% of monies. Yes, apparently it does. Thunderstruck! You've been Thunderstruck! Uh, uh, hmm. And talking in chat once every 15 minutes. Yes. Yes, that's how you gain money. Which is basically if you try to catch every Pokemon. But every time one spawns, then you'll keep generating money. Hmm. Did you guys know I have a loyalty card? Apparently. You have your turtle in Guild Wars, right? Uh, I actually don't. Actually, no, I never got around to doing that. Maybe that's something I should do tonight. Maybe that's something I should do tonight. I don't think I had the currency. I was asking Cole. Uh. <laughs> I see how it is! Next goal, increase stone drop chance. Huh. I like Thunderstroke? Okay. Well, the thing is, is that it won't stay this type. More accurate because it's Thunderbolt, not Lightning, like Thor says. Oh no, right, it's it, what am I talking about? It's fully evolved. Thunderstruck is not gonna fit. Yes, you are correct. Thunderstruck won't fit. Thunderst! Thunderst! Yeah! Thunderst! Welcome to the family, Thunderst! Okay, Panooka is paralyzed, which is not conductive to helping them level up. <laughs> It's just a shame that we can't actually use like the XP shares because obviously they need to be holding the item. And now we're in fucking. So I forgot how goddamn close all of these towns are. They feel further apart in the game, I think, because it's like they're mainly kept apart by the fact that you can't go through these things. But they are literally right next to each other. There are no trainers. Any trainers? Where are all the goddamn trainers in this region? Oh my god. Another Weedle! They were doing an event for Gilbert's birthday or something and I kind of hopped in. Strikes and Raids, they look so strict experience only that I'm scared to blag my way in. Yeah, that's how I am with every MMO. Again! Poka Raid? Catch Ghost Poison does about to progress. Final goal reached. Unidentified ghosts have a higher chance to be a rare Pokemon. Where are they, game? Show them to me. I'm second Ultra Balls. Meanwhile, I need to K money to get another 10. Apparently, you currently have 20. Dang. 
It's the same event I got the invisible chair from. Huh. Well, Banuka's not going to level up for battling wild Pokemon, that's for sure. Trainers! Oh, I found a berry. How helpful. Oh! My berry pots. Because we'll just uh, run this ad break now. No, I guess I can take it over. They've been around. I got two dark eyes yesterday. You've got dark. You got two. Someone told me to go over and make coffee. My bed is super comfy. Mm, bed is comfy. I don't like coffee. The bed is comfy. Oh no! Go tend to the papa. Go tend to the papa. There we go. It's easy for me to do that with the mouse. I like that, that this uh, uh, does actually let me use the mouse in place of the touchscreen. All right, what do you have? I said I I stayed up until like two a.m. last night. I did not want to get out of my bed this morning. I got out of my bed so that I could tend to Sadie. <laughs> I would still be in bed probably. Didn't get enough. Throwing caution to the wind here, being like, I just want to level. You've got a. I want to scream. My beloved. Why do so many trainers have Lugias and we don't? Lugia's, like, wing that is closest to the camera in this sprite looks so flat. Hey, sleep. Sneasel. I need to be catching these. I've got, like, four Sneasels. Yep, why game? Do you have to torture blue? Why am I still here? Just to suffer. Bye, Lugia. Come on, Banuka. This is the moment. Your time is now. You've worked so hard for this. I've been robbed! What the hell? 
it said that it would evolve if it was holding it. I gave it the fucking wrong item. I'm stupid! I'm stupid! I'm stupid! I'm not stupid, you're just smart impaired. Frankly, that sounds more insulting than calling someone stupid, Core. <laughs> I'm running out of trainers to beat up. I'm gonna have to go do the fucking gym leader. <laughs> Nugget Bridge has got trainers, right? Nugget Bridge doesn't even have any trainers anymore. Where are all the trainers in Johto? In Kanto? I keep getting the two mixed up. A level 5 shield on. You're next to Mewtwo, right? I don't believe I can get Mewtwo right now. Shield on. I think there's somebody in front of the cave saying that you don't have permission to go in there. Uh. Metal coat. <laughs> Yeah, look, there's a person in front of the cave. You can see from here. I think I've got to go fucking do Vermilion Gym because there's no goddamn trainers around anywhere. I do wonder if we can go do Zapdos, though. Oh, I should save. Save? I should heal. Gonna go to Viridian City. <laughs> oh, this is also an encounter. I've been forgetting that I can surf in these places. We already have a Swablu, don't we? We named it after... what was it? 1954 or something? It's a blue sky bird. Yeah, it is. Screenshots are dropped in the game chat on Discord. Oh. Damn, yeah. Event catch a hundred Pokemon. I don't even have that on my on my thing because I haven't caught any. Damn, you're too dark, right? Way to flex. Nice. That's so crazy to me that there's a quest to catch a hundred event Pokemon, and I've uh, caught eight. I have not been catching stuff today. They're bad dark eye, bad IVs. Yeah, but you can refresh IVs. There's an IV refresh item. A 
Grab the two! Serge, I feel like someone should contact Health and Safety about you forcing people to go via the ocean to get into your gym. I always hated this goddamn puzzle. You... You have to throw Ultra Balls at the Unidentified Ghost, otherwise you don't catch anything but non-rares, but it's still, like, a chance to get an Oddish, or in my case, eight Thievals or Nickets. Yeah. I, I always throw an Ultra Ball at them, but I've been get I got, like, a Tentacool, a Quillfish, another Sneasel. <laughs> I get nervous when I hear the super effective sound effect. There's another one. Take a sip, everybody, because that's another person who has Arceus' signature move. I tossed Featherballs at it and I got an Oddish and a Miss. I can't imagine Featherballs are the best option for that. I also have four Drapions, Superflex. Damn, you've been playing this game like mad! Oh, come on, game. I may have been a tad obsessed. <laughs> that, to be fair, that was me in Dog Week. In Dog Week, I was a little obsessed, and I still didn't get any legendaries. Kyoga! I'm gonna do a top-up. Stock upon healing items after the Elite Four, huh? Demon always keeps his stream up, so I'm just keeping it on low volume, but every time an event or a legendary uh, tier pops off, he says event Pokemon, come on guys, throw your balls, or legend- oh yeah. Oh yeah, I have been I have been in there a few times. Anytime I hear that, I throw a ball, or I say poker check on, on non-events and get money. Yeah. Demon Rider has a pinned comment saying to throw feather balls at it. What? Oh, I guess because it's a ghost, so it has no weight. I guess. Thing is that you can't buy feather balls. Another ball, but I forgot what it was. Don't know. Phantom. Oh, because it's a ghost. That makes sense. Phantom balls. <laughs> That's right, Kyoga. Just stay asleep. Just keep sneeping.
Yay. I didn't even get a level up after that. Okay, that was a little bit, uh, a lot, just trying to get yet, because I'm only trying to use Banuka. So I'm like, okay, let's, um, heal you up. Got four of those. Oh, neat. I mean, I don't have any, I don't have any interesting Pokeballs because I forget to do Poker Daily, which is the best place to get them. Seed. We don't want worry seed. It is time. Uh, with the gold ticket, I got uh, four more poker daily resets, and then all of a sudden, I had five k. Dang, nice. Let's go, by Nuka! Shadow Claw. They've got a stab move. That's sick as hell. Yes. Let's fucking go. Ah, oh, stats went up. Our stats went up, Banuka! We had faith, Banuka! Let's heckin' go! Who knew Porygon would become a virus? <laughs> oh, a ghost type, you say? They were terrified. Oh my god, Banuka, let's go. I believe Drip is Drisbrill one of the Pokemon that has aftermath. I think it is, so this is probably gonna hurt. Yep, there's the aftermath. Terrifying when you're in a Nuzlocke. Espeon! Oh, you had the worst team! You had the worst team for this! You were all bad for Ghost! <laughs> Paragon fed on the souls of 108 internet weebs and became a spirit tomb. Nice. Look at this happy little spirit. Look at this happy little manifestation of evil. <laughs> They're so flat. Once you found the first one, the second one is to the right of it.
for real. Does it loop? Because there wasn't a trash can to the right of that one. God damn it. You can't tell me it's to the right and then put it in a trash can that doesn't have anything to the right of it. Is it good evil or evil good? Yes. Oh, Rhyperia. Mm. We, lo we lost someone to a Rhyhorn. Transform to normal type? I think that's better for us, to be fair. Oh, the flinch! Fucking horn drill. No, it wasn't Rhyperia that it wasn't the Rhyhorn that had horn drill. It was Articuno that had horn drill. Uh, the Rhyhorn had an ice punch, and they took Orchestra and our Butterfree from us. Class. Oh no, I've been frozen, that's not good. I thawed out immediately. <laughs> You cannot freeze me, I have no corporeal form! is already 57 like the the highest uh level in the gym is 60 mind you there's not a lot of trainers in this region apparently right go away ethan Right, now we gotta do this bloody switch puzzle. That one. Boy, you've been lying to me! Oh, right next to it, not on the right next to it. This one? There you go. Oh my corner, I'd say. Yeah, of course you would say that. <laughs> Process of elimination. <laughs> Let's 
save. Jeez, that music. Fucking hell, okay. The manager! No! <laughs> Pidgeot, okay. Uh, I have a question. How do we feel about cilantro? Soap tasty or the epitome of freshness? Ah, uh, I can't actually comment. I don't... I'm gonna assume it doesn't taste like soap to me because I feel like I've had I must have eaten some dishes that have cilantro in it and I've never eaten them and been like oh that tastes of soap but I can't say I've ever actively you know had a sprig of cilantro and like eaten it so I can't comment It's annoying that you're part flying type and part normal type. Marsh Stomp. The middle child! What is that? What is that? What are you doing? Please stop. I don't trust that. <laughs> Perish. Boy really used two full restores. And he's got a Pichu! He hasn't evolved it yet in his signature into his signature Raichu. It was sus. It was so sus. Don't trust that. Vanuka is terrifying. Oh no, I don't have any UI space for more badges. Shoot. Um. Um, I also need to find things for them. HM34? What's 34? Karate chop, apparently. Okay, uh, right. UI adjustments. Um, where are we? Files, overlay, badges, uh, new folder, cancel. This is going to take me a few minutes, guys. Save image. Might as well get all of them while I'm here.
And we got the Thunder Badge. Oh, this is proving to be a pain in the ass. still here just to suffer <clears throat> oh this is gonna be a whole th okay I'm just gonna do the one this is a whole thing hang on razor I didn't think this was gonna be a whole thing I'm going to tell you before when you did the star that you're getting eight more badges. You're very confident to assume that I'm going to get the eight ne ex next eight badges. <laughs> I forgot, okay? I forgot that I would have to add badges to the overlay. We love a scuffed stream. Okay, save that files, Twitch overlays, badge. Got PNG. Oh, wild cranidos has appeared. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like reevaluate this entire overlay to try and fit these in. Oh, it's so small as well, it's really small on the screen. You're going here for now. Okay. Oop, that was weird. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like move all of these around and like scrunch them up, I think. Because I've got to fit in another eight. God, well, that was a whole endeavor. Right, that's almost like, a, like answered my question of like, shall I go do Sabrina next? And I'm like, no, I'm going to go to the freaking electric plant and see if I can find a zap dose. <laughs> that's less hard work <laughs> than trying to work out how to put the next badge on the overlay. Because with the with the with the Johto badges, I realized I would need them, so I pre like downloaded them and put them all in, and then just like hid them. I didn't think to do that with these ones. 
I just think about the cilantro because I went back to watching MasterChef and I couldn't imagine being a judge. Like, the contestants try so hard and sometimes they fail. Uh, but what if they made something they were allergic to or it tasted like soap because they put in cilantro? I feel like allergens is probably something they are at least uh, prefaced with at the start of the show. I, ima I imagine that's a behind the scenes things, like because of how allergy because allergies can be triggered just by air particulates. So like if one of the judges or one of the staff are allergic to something, I feel like they just wouldn't even provide it as an ingredient. Cilantro, I don't know, though. Maybe they just don't use it. Too, too divisive. They're just a little plant. What if they hate Brussels sprouts? I hate Brussels sprouts. That's the weird thing, isn't it? Like, sh these chefs on these cooking programs are never, they're never, like, picky, are they? They never have a thing to be like, well, you cooked up this, but I don't like this. Not because I don't like your cooking, but just because I don't like this as a piece of food. <laughs> I guess maybe professional chefs kind of get over that. I guess, I guess it's just something where it's like, they get over it. I don't know. They're always ecstatic to eat it. I know, right? Bye bye. Bye bye. Ooh, have I got. I just thought, can we like stack up on this ghost claw? Have we got the tag? I feel like we do. Spell tag. Boost the power of ghost type moves. Oh, he consumed the upgrade. Well, hopefully, we never get another Porygon. I bet that you anything is uh, anything there is a, a pie they'd prefer than another one, so they'd have an apple pie challenge instead of a lemon meringue. I guess when, I guess it's one of those things where it's like if you're doing something professionally, you try to take your personal preferences out of it. Like if you're watching British Bake Off, it's like yeah, they judge the flavor, but they judge things like you know. Is the crumb, you know, if you if you were taking like a pie, they'd be like, it's the pastry, you know, g uh, you know, nice and fluffy. It has the filling, you know, cooked all the way through. Is the bottom soggy? Has has it got a nice crust and things like that? So I guess they just try to be subjective and try to be like, like I put try to, you know, if if one of, maybe one of them would be like, I personally don't like apples, but these are well cooked, kind of thing. Oh, you're a normal type, aren't you? I am proceeding to, like, murk everybody with Baduka. I see what, uh, uh, you can't really judge something impartially if you're prejudged against the food. I see what you're saying, but I doubt they could be. I feel like they could. If, they, if that is, you know, like... It's it's one of the, it's just the difference between people who are just being themselves and people who are one uh, professionals, two being paid, and three on TV. Like they're probably acting to no small amount as well. It's like how, uh, like, 
a lot of like just regular people who meet Gordon Ramsay tend to say that he's actually quite nice. Because it's because the whole like effing and blinding and throwing things at people and going absolutely ape shit at them. It's a little bit of an act for the TV show. It's a li I mean, he probably does genuinely get angry at people, but I he probably exaggerates it a little bit. Kind of like, in a way. This isn't a new room. That sucks. I've seen a lot of Gorn shows out of the kitchen. He's actually really nice. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is like, I think I think a lot of it is a bit of an act. It's um, I, I said. I mean, it's it's kind of. It's not quite the same, but it kind of is the same. Of like, you know, I am obviously quite loud and screamy, and you know, ah, all of that. I don't. I don't. I'm not always like that. You know, some of my friends will probably say that I am like that, but I'm not always like that when I'm playing games and it's just me and it's just friends. When you are aware that you are being watched and are in front of a camera, you put it on a little bit because it's your job, I guess, at the end of the day. You know, you are trying to be entertaining. So you are uh, you exaggerate. It's not that you're not being genuine, it's that you are exaggerating. This is still the same route. Okay, power plant. So they do it up big. It's me, I'm in your stream. Yeah. Whee! Sucker by a tap, bro. <laughs> Because that's the, that's the thing that I like sometimes get conscious of uh, as as when I am streaming is that the if I am sat here in complete silence, it's not interesting to watch, and I, I do worry like when I'm working and stuff, especially when there are long long periods of silence because I'm concentrating, which is partly why I like having uh, people in the chat because when I've got people to talk to backwards and forwards, I feel like I'm engaged more. A thief broke into the power plant. What's the world coming to? This power plant had to be abandoned in the past. We got it back up and running to provide power to the magnet train. Wait, is that person not here in Heart Gold Soul Silver? Oh. Bees are so cute in Minecraft. What an aggressive message, I know, right? I got away from Cerulean, it appears the shady character has been loitering around. Oh, there you go, plot! They ask for your cooperation, the shady character has been handing around Cerulean City Gym. Hey. Hold up a sec. I'm gonna look this up since I've got the Cerebi page open anyway. I'm like, hold the fuck up. Uh, where's legendaries? Legendary Pokemon.
it does. It, it is at the power plant. Oh, you need all the badges. You need all the badges for it to spawn. Who is this child, child with zero authority over a literal child who's just randomly wandered into the power plant and maybe just maybe shouldn't have allowed her access to then go and tell her to go behind to Cerulean to assist with the arrest of a criminal? This world is whack. I never thought about this before, but it's wild. In this context, I'm going to assume that having the rank of champion decrees you a degree of power, but like, even before you're champion, you get asked to do some wild stuff. Also, bear with, I need to go check something. Oh, I actually can't fly. I, can't, I commented earlier of like, it's weird how there's this whole thing about taking the train or taking a ship when you can just fly. You actually can't fly. You're still 10, 10. <laughs> We're a little 10-year-old wandering around the world, but there you are. Yeah. Um, I was just looking... I, in looking something up, I think there's like a story thing I haven't triggered. So I'm going to quickly hop back to Johto and go trigger it. <laughs> And we have arrived in Olivine City. Who, who is next door? Shh, Jesus! Wh what? Who's this? I'm being, I'm being fucking robbed. Oh, he's only level thirty-three. But not for me. <laughs> I found a pretty coin in here. Someone must have lost it. What? What the fuck? What's this encounter? Why was there just a burglar in here? You don't mess with the champion regardless of age, this is true. You wouldn't let a ten-year-old wander over the world, but there you have it. Yeah, that's the thing, is like the implication is, if anything, that the Pokemon world is kind of a utopia because they are just fine with kids wandering around and they're like, nothing bad nothing bad's gonna happen. Which is why like the the evil Pokemon teams are like so like they stand out so much, even though in the grand scheme of things for some of them. Like, you know, some of them are genuinely good. Uh, not good. Some of them are genuinely, like, trying to do awful things. But there's a couple where they're just very sort of mid of just, like, you're just being disruptive. You're not evil. You're just being, like, a rebellious punk kid. But that's considered evil. Oh, maybe I, maybe I did trigger, trigger it. That's weird. According to the wiki, I'm supposed to bump into Suicune at Vermilion, and because I haven't, I was like, oh, did I not trigger uh, Suicune's interaction outside the mountain? But Suicune's not here, so I'm like, I did trigger it? That's interesting. First is to be found north of Sandwood, which we did. After you encounter it there, you find it outside the entrance of Mount Mortar, which is here. Once you find it there, it leaves Johto and heads to Kanto, where you will see it in Vermilion City soon after you arrive, which we haven't done. How bizarre. Lance just bodies a guy with his Dragonite. In the this is the fun thing of interpretation. In the games, he he like mostly threatens, but in the uh in that like celebrations. 
uh, anime they did, he like, f that Dragonite like fully tears apart that room. And in the manga, well, take a shot everybody, because Blue says that if you're a Pokemon fan, you should read the Pokemon manga. Because the manga don't give two shits. Also, hello, I'm, I'm Johto, so I decided to come see you. Oh, neat, the Guzzlord has popped up now. I imagine Spiritomb uh, dragging its rock all over the floor like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Need 10 more event catches. Dang! Yeah, I haven't been doing that at all. I'm still on... It's been an hour and I'm still on catch 8, eight out of 10. I am, I'm only on the first stage. I'm not going to get any of the event stuff, but it's fine. I don't care too much. Fuck. You can leave for the meeting on Mondays and Fridays. You just. What? Oh, Jesus Christ. What do you mean I can't go back? I will say this indelicately. Uh, I've not played any of the newer games. I stopped at Alola and I don't know these new Pokemon, so I'm confused on what they are. I don't know their names, their types, their sprites, their course, and I was shocked when I saw Guzzlord as a possible Pokemon to get. That one is from Sun and Moon. You have to beat Kanto and then a walking path opens up between Johto and Kanto. I mean, if you fix the train, you can also take the train. But I was like, well, I haven't fixed the train. I assume I'll just take the ferry for now. But now they're just like, oh, no, now you can't take the ferry because you've done the story bit. And I'm like, uh, shit, I didn't mean to come back here if I can't get back. Shoot. Oh, you didn't beat it? Okay. I only got to the second island mission thing. Dang. Can you fly out? What do you think that menu I was just on was, Core? Oh no. Can I f can I fly to Hang on. Did I just F myself? Can I fly to here and walk? Hold it there, this way leads to Kanto, but the path is blocked for the time being, I'm afraid. Oh no! Oh fuck! Hang on. Load state. Okay, we have to re we have to rebattle Surge, but that's fine. Has this gone so much worse?
He does not want me to fight his Pidgeot. Spanking Pidgeot with Shadow Claw. No, I specifically couldn't use Shadow Claw. Uh, Pidgeot is part normal type and Shadow Claw is ghost type. I was having to use Air Slash. Right, which, which Pokemon have I got? Where did we get up to? We've done Route 7, Route 5, Route 4, and Vermilion City. And we've got Route 6, I believe, already as well, which was you. Yeah, Route 6. Okay, so I guess we need to go back to the power station trigger the dialogue. Noted! Don't fucking go back to Johto! I almost softlocked myself! I would have been sat here just like, well, fuck, I can't continue the game today. Because it's time-locked to fucking Monday or Friday. That's so dumb. That's so dumb that that's something that you could have done. I mean, on the DS it would have been fine because you could have modified the time, but the, the, this is using my computer's time. Damn, and all I was going to say was that, in theory, I should have had a Suicune-like encounter, and I haven't, and I was like, huh. Weird, I wonder why I haven't. Cool, we need to go, like, rebattle a bunch of trainers. Oh, I need to recollect this from you, I think. Oh no, I already got that. I go to the shop because they missed out on a bunch of stuff. Well, not that I missed it. Not missed out. I need more items because I didn't restock after the Elite Four. <gasps> I can just buy Quick Balls now, yay! If the music stops and we hide somewhere before Kesu shows up, yeah. Right, speed mode. We need to fix the power plant so the power comes back on and the train is working again. And then we won't end up in this situation. Go up through there, please. Oh, and this was when I was this is when I was like, we should give them the ghost tag. Spawns. Uh, no. Uh, we didn't. We didn't go in into any new routes. 
in that brief window. What about Thunderstruck? We've got Thunderstruck. I checked in the PC. We've got them. We didn't lose all that much progress, it's fine. I made the same mistake twice. Jesus, that paralysis did fuck fucked me up a bit there. Jesus. That was a bit close for comfort. Honestly, as much as I'm always a the kind of person who tries to keep the level uh, of my party like consistent. I am kind of beelining of like, can I just get Banuka up to 60? Can I power level Banuka? Alright, we go up here. I think we go and talk to this guy is the one we have to trigger, I think. Too fast, too fast. More haste, less speed. I'm gonna put, pop my Soothing Silver game on while you play, pretend that we're playing the same game. Oh, nice! Ah, oh, interesting. So you can fly to Victory Road from here, but not... I'm confused. Anyway, let's not question it. Let's go to Cerulean City, we'll beat this guy up, get the part back, they'll fix the engine, and then we can take the train and the problem will not come up again. We're gonna save and we're gonna do the save. It's a good thing that there's two forms of saving in this game. Alright, where's the shady person? Is it you? I could see the shadow of a person. Of a person there, maybe? suddenly very scared. I'm suddenly very scared. Okay. The last time- the, the, la the last time- the only Articuno we've ever fought had Horn Drill and killed a Pokemon. That scared me. <laughs> They came along to h h keep me humble. They said that the guy was next to the Cerulean Gym. Is that the game's way you think of telling me that like he'll only appear if I beat the gym? Do we think that that's what's happening here?
Of course. Bam! And done. Speak sign. You're not hiding up here, are you? No, no, he's not. A double A battle. This is one thing I find really weird about Hogwarts or Silver Games. In Joe's so it took forever to get through routes, but in this game, uh, you're like walking the whole country to deliver messages and backtrack and beat chimps and arrest criminals. Yeah! Yeah, it makes the, the whole region feels a lot smaller than it did in the original, uh, uh, like, like Red and Blue. <laughs> Why do they both have a Reggie? That's unfair. <laughs> Level 60. Level 60 bolts are paralyzed. <laughs> The rest of the squad is falling behind now, is the thing. I'm using the randomizer, a low level bug catcher as a freaking ho oh somehow. Mm hmm. Also, I thought about it, you're the Jota champion, but that probably means Jack all in Kanto, which means it just, I mean, it just happened how fast does news travel? Probably fairly quickly. They've got TV and radio. We literally had, um,. Uh, when we beat, when we beat Lance, we literally had the radio presenter come up and be like, "We need to do an interview." Oh God, seed flare. That's awful. How oh, obviously Christopher Catcher because he was a good boy, always providing the fire, fire god and folks to eat. Second cup of coffee. Woo! No, sweetie, that's it's not a it's not a goddamn contest. Oh, we only had the one poke one. Hmm. Hello? Yeah, have my grandson, his name is Bill. He's in Johto. He does something with PC, so I'm house sitting. Bill told me as a Pokemon. Uh, that has a long tongue. It has ring-like markings on the front of its legs, he said. If you have that Pokemon, may I see it? I do not have it. That is a licky tongue. Nugget! I like coffee and I'm happy to wake up uh, slow and with the coffee and enjoy it, not guzzle it down on the way to work. Okay, that's better. Yeah. It's about enjoying it, no, uh, not, not the whole, like, I need five coffees to function. It's about enjoying it. A lot, a lot of my tea is decaf, because I don't need the caffeine, I just like the taste of having a cup of tea. It's not drink. Ironically, if I was using uh, Banuka, I would one-shot this, because it's a ghost type. A little bit. That is, in fact, a rock. Cool. 
Cool, yeah, I'm gonna assume I have to beat the gym then. around with the UI again. Don't know why I'm saving again, but you know. I think I also require, require oil energy beams. Actually, I was enjoying it so slow I needed to, to refresh it because it had gotten too cold. Ah. Ah, yes, I've had that as well of the- Ah, shit, I forgot about my tea. I guess we're gonna go do this then. Jesus! Oops, so sorry, you're not hurt, are you? I'm very busy. No time for talking with you. Uh, not good for me to be seen by somebody. What a polite burglar. Oh no, you've seen me already! I've made a big mistake! Hey you, forget you see me, okay? You seen her, know nothing, okay? Bye! Bye, bye, gotta go! Is there nobody here? Oh, nobody's here! <laughs> Now where did he go? And nobody's still here. Okay, no, it is a scripted thing. Where did he go? <laughs> oh no, hiding I was, but you did, you did me f found in no time. Me only one from other country. Yes, no big business, okay. I think I did if stop the energy, be big panic and unlucky for here people. The secret is my mission, so tell you why not. But if you do versus me, a man, I be and mine secret to tell you understand. Ugh. Bring no worky good. Head hurt. Bye, bitch. Okay, I tell you mine secret I will. Machine parts steal by me, hide it I did in Jim of the Cerulean. Near inflatable tube I did, look for Jim ass. But you forget me not, beat you for sure, will Team Rocket. Come from Johto they will, mine allies, yes, will revenge they are. You say what, Team Rocket? Bye bye, a go go. Broken up it is, says you. Oh no, should I do what now from me? Okay, I make un my country go home. Make Team Rocket, I will. Goodbye. So long. <laughs> What's wrong with that guy? <laughs> What's he talking about? Will you not bother us, okay? Apart from a machine. Did you just fight Yoda? No, I fought a foreigner, apparently. Oh. I know it's faster to like cycle, but weirdly, if I'm like cycling and sped up, it, it it's like too fast for me to control very well. Not that I can control it very well at the best of times. It reminds me of how a character speaks in one of the uh, audiobooks I listen to.
I'm in the kitchen and I just hear you soaking in broken Yoda speak. Mm -hmm. He was a foreigner, apparently. The thing you have, that's the part that was stolen from the generator. You found it, thank you so much. Now all I have to do is attach this here. Yes, it's running! Ah, thanks. Here, go ahead and take this TM as a reward. 57. It's my charge beam. It'll shoot beams. It'll also sometimes raise special attack. Is it, though? No, it was reflect. And bang! Yep. Okay, in theory, the train should be up and running, and now we can actually go to and from Jota, fine. I'm gonna save before I do, though. Where is not, is that not Zamdos? I, I, weren't you listening, Kor? Zamdos doesn't spawn until we have all the gym badges. It does still spawn at the, the power plant, but not until we have all the badges. No legendaries yet. Which I mean, damn, that's a slog, actually. You go through the entire game, you get Lugia, but then it's like, no, you have to base, you have to go get eight more badges before you can get the rest of the legendaries and it's like to ham okay guess i'm gonna do more leveling all right let's um save heresy Oh, I need a pass. You need a magnet pass. Where the hell do I get the train pass from? So I can't safely go back to Johto then. Is this a guess what? Gotta go do gyms! that you lost your cherished polka doll. If I find it, will you give me a magnet pass? I'll go find it for you. You think you lost it when you went to Vermilion City? What? I shouldn't decide what you, you should do, but I'm worried. What if someone finds it? Well, hold up. One of those plushies is a bonnet. It is a bonnet. <laughs> Terrifying. I just loaded the wrong file on my emulation and thought I'd lost all my progress. Oof! What if I borrow it for a while? You don't need this plushie, right? I think I go here.
Girl who lost this doll is sad. Could you take it back to the girl? I'll befriend a Ryoka fairy one day. Aww. Hello! Mr. Stone? My name is Steven, champion of the Hoenn region. Have we met before? <laughs> In a different life. That's not possible. All the trainers I have battled seem to have the same look. Anyway, uh, especially the ones who gave me tough battles. Oh, by the way, have you heard of the Pokemon called Latios? <laughs> to change the subject. I'm investigating why Latios from the Hoenn region has decided to leave Hoenn and come here. Latios is a Pokemon that has a lot to do with Soldu, a gem-like orb. Oh yeah, I've got like three of them. Considering the fact that Latios is now in Kanto, it's possible to assume that this has to do with Soldu. Uh, Latios is a Pokemon that uh, travels a great distance. It'd be difficult to find a, without a machine to track it. Any trainer will be drawn to it, won't they? I must go. I may our journeys cross again. Well, looky here. And Raikou is still over there. I don't know if you can give that guy a Clefairy. Maybe. Not that we ever have a Clefairy because it's randomised. Where the hell would we get a Clefairy from? Oh, of course. Cinnabar Island. <laughs> that was just the first random place that I could think of. Okay, well, we got, we got the MacGuffin and now we go give the MacGuffin back. That's my Clefairy doll! See the, the tear on its right arm is sewn on? That's proof. I'll give you this magnet train pass as I promised. Oh, I should put the doll on the table. That's cute. Show the ticket at the gate on the gate on the magnet train. The rail company gave me that when they tore down our old house for the station. Wow. HS2, man. SMH. Okay, we're gonna save. We're gonna hop on the train and then we'll double check that we can, like, go backward and forward safely. <laughs> right. They ride a goldenrod. Goldenrod. The accent is on the O. What? The accent is on the O. What do you mean the accent is on the O? Okay. We can we can go to and fro safely now. Goldenrod. I don't know. That's such a weird thing to say. Golden Rood? Yeah, I'm, I'm really confused. What do you mean the accent is on the O? There's no accent on the O in Goldenrod. There's no accent on it. There's an accent on Pokemon. That's why if you're American, saying Pokemon is wrong, because it's got an accent on it. <laughs> it's not Norwegian or anything, it's not got an umlaut on it. I'm, I'm baffled by that. <laughs> yeah, exactly! 
The little house was torn down so they could make a new train station. All they gave her was a free train ticket and she gave the first person who found her lost dolly. I imagine her parents got financial compensation, but she's just a child, so... Right, what now? Can we do go do Cerulean now? Or is this a case of, like, we need to do Saffron first because we've arrived in Saffron first? There is still nobody here, okay. I think maybe, I guess we go do Saffron? I don't know why, I kind of figured that you could just do them in any old order, but maybe there is actually still a set order. We do actually have to go find it's not it's not an order thing, it's just that Misty isn't there and you've got to go find her. She's somewhere else. Fair enough. Nothing like shirking your job, is there? It's just like the show she took off with Ash. <laughs> yeah, the Pokemon world as a whole is still very behind, like, trade. You know how, you know, like, for, for us as a society, we've kind of, we very much more adopted using currency and money to pay for things. But in the Pokemon world, they're very much a fan of, oh, you've done something for me? It, 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 take this item as payment. Like, the, we're not going to give you money, we're going to offer you this item in trade. <laughs> I should probably try to level up some other people. Because it's one of those things, if I put all my eggs in one basket and then that egg gets cracked, I'm fucked. <laughs> We still have a decent level lead. Hurt a little bit. Oh no! Oh! I was like, I'm fucking lost! Is running the gym and then they take off influencer wise and Misty gets stuck dealing with gym duty so maybe she resents that and that's uh, where she's like a gym leader yes first try first try don't okay you are hurt this is the one I'm not going to take too many chances on because it's the gym leader 
I knew you were coming. Three years ago, I had a vision of your arrival. You're after my badge. I don't enjoy battling, but it's my duty as a gym leader to confer badges to anyone. That's such a scam. Sitting there on a chair as a gym leader, me like, haha, my psychic vision said that you would come to take my badge. Like, yeah, you're the gym leader? That's your job. That's, that's, that's how this arrangement works. Alt tackle, okay. Sabrina Jacqueline, mm hmm. Don't like that. Don't get too cocky, just be aware. The level gap isn't too big. Level 55. I think that's her strongest Pokemon. Draco Meteor, Jesus. You use your full restore there. Can't choose the same move twice because of torment. What happened? I think it's self destructed. I think it's self destructed because they both died. They both died. I think it's self-destructed. <sighs> well... There's the hubris, everybody. the hubris that's what that's what i get for being so confident on a side note i feel like there's been next to no event spawns today That's what I get. <laughs> I got so confident that I was like, I'll fast forward during a gym battle. That's not gonna go wrong. I'm sorry, Banuka. You saw us through the Elite Four. I love the Banuka. I know. Right. Somebody else. I am going to have to do some off stream grinding if I have the time. Because nobody else is at a good level. Two legendaries. We've got a Milosic. Two Fampies. We've got a lot of stuff that like I could try to evolve. I'm not gonna get hung up on it. I said last week that like 
it would be very I would be less cautious in in Kanto. I said I would be less cautious in Kanto. I was like, we've beaten we've beaten the first the first main bit of the game. We've beaten the Elite Four. The rest of it I'm less concerned about. Still feels bad. Oops. Let's just do some evolving. Let's see what we get. It could be fun. Yeah, I think it was it was something like it was something like a self destruct or an explode or maybe a perish song because I was fast forwarding I didn't see but something killed them both at the same time. into a Tyranitar. Name a bigger glow-up. It's got Yawn! Manifest it! They got Attitude, baby! I guess it, it does technically pubate headcanon established. Okay, she's level 15. So she needs so much leveling. Earthquake, flamethrower, surf, thunder. I mean, I think I have Earthquake as a TM. And it's another person. Yeah, it's another Sandstormer. Sandstream. I do have an Earthquake TM. Okay, I, I'm not gonna... I'm, I, what I'm gonna do is... Yes, I'm gonna save. What I'm going to do is I'm going to XP share more Pokemon that we have in the PC just to see if we can get some other funny evolutions. Uh, what are we going to do uh, uh, Do for a false swiper? Cool, we need to have false swipe in order to do that. <laughs> Team Sandstorm Anakin Skywater would hate you. Skywater Skywalker would hate you. Yep. Believe in the power of the sandstorm. That's why I always would open with Beguling, because I was like, we've got Beguling, Zelda, Edgar. I was like, half our team is immune to the effects of sandstorm. So opening with sandstorm is a pretty sound tactic. But yeah, okay, I think attitude. Uh, I think attitude is going to be our, our next team member, but they need to be leveled up. So what I'm going to do is grab some of these little guys and just see what we get, because we only got 15 minutes left. Miso soup! Let's see what miso soup is! Why did we forget Panooka's vibes so quickly? It's, it's, it's dealing, it's, it's processing. We, we, we're moving on. We don't feel the grief. Conceal, don't feel. I'm gonna go down to the uh, Vermilion just because the Pokemon in the water appeared to be slightly higher level, so we might level a little bit quicker. Fucking hate you. You poison me in my nuzlocke. How dare you?
I think if you make a sprite for yourself or do a fandering, you'll need those special specs that you get in black and white, right? Or platinum with all the ash. Uh, that's um, ruby and sapphire, right? You need the desert goggles. Why do you have toxic? God, so toxic. It's toxic ass bird. Making it so hard to level. You had the go goggles to go in the desert because of the sandstorm. And even though there was an area that had all of that ash coming down, you didn't need uh, the goggles for the ash zone, weirdly. Even though ash is like probably worse than sand because it's burning. Toxic blue sky bird. Mm hmm. I meant to look away for two seconds. Miso soup! What is miso soup? A ponita? Oh, they evolved at level 40. God damn it. We have a ponita. Oops. Next. Someone Google what, what level uh, Fanfi evolves. Because I've got two of them. One of them's level 15 and one of them's level 20. I do like Ponytar. It's one of my hundos in Go. Nice! I like Ponytar as well. And I believe Rapidash is one of Stanji's faves. I have two Ponytars. Oh, I didn't know that. Right, now the question is, is this Weedle also going to be a Ponyta? Is again going to be another Ponyta? Because, <laughs> literally because I was like, oh, we got a Weedle again. So I called it again. Ember Glaring Weedle. It evolves at 25. Okay. I guess we could grind that a little bit. Oh, it is the same. That's a shame. That means we've got three Pokemon that are the same. We've got three Ponytars. That kind of sucks. That means our two Fanfies are going to be the same thing as well. Ooh, there was a bit of a stutter there. in a randomized game like, game like this we've ended up with duplicates. That can't be right, right? I don't know. We had two Weedles and they both evolved into Ponyta. So, um, I don't know. Like, I'm hesitant to level them up off stream because I feel like part of the fun of the stream is seeing what they evolve into. But now we've got three Ponytars. I got a, oh, I got a level 25 Mankey. What level does Mankey evolve? And a level 30 seal. I'm basically looking for the ones that, like, might evolve quickly. Oh, I see. It's tr it's not truly random. It's swapped. X always evolves into Y, not K. Yeah, but what they evolve into is randomized. So the chain can keep going, I believe. But we've just, like, really unfortunately ended up with, like, the same chain three times. 
technically we've got God, we got Carcassonne and Catan. We've got Anticip, Miso Soup, and Again. I love that Again is the third one. We got a Ponyta, Again. We got our two Fanfies, Izzard and Evans. And, uh, yeah. Don't have any other duplicates after that. You're only level 5, so you're going to take forever to level up. You're level 30, so you might level up. We've got two Swablus as well. I feel like Mankey probably evolves fairly quickly, right? Did you delete the dead Mons? Some of them. <laughs> but not all of them. My, some, we've had six deaths, but three of them are still here. You got a full party, you could challenge the Elite Four with them. What? What? What are you talking about? Why would I go do the Elite Four? We, Core, are you on another planet? Where, where did that come from? Why would I go do the Elite Four? For the lols? No. <laughs> I'm hoping that this won't take too long. My brain says that Mankey probably is like in the 20s. My bra I think my brain just automatically assumes that any Pokemon that's like a two-stage Pokemon is like, yeah, that evolves in the 20s. Which is not the case. That's just how my head thinks. Apparently it's level 28, so we got four levels. Let's see if we can at least get that done. And here I was in my brain of like, oh, I like high elements. Here I was in my brain of like, maybe I'll, I'll actually play some Guild Wars tonight. And it's gonna be, nope, I'm gonna be doing leveling in this. Is that a firework or did something just go bang? What the hell was that? arm might be a useful move to have. I kind of want to get rid of signal beam, I'll be honest. Oh, another Beldum. Where are all the event Pokemon? Hello? It's like the last day of the event! Where are all the event Pokémon? Where are the ghosts? One more level. We can get one more level before we finish. I'm 
man. Uh, I feel so bad that we lost the nuke. Uh, I kind of feel like that was almost my fault by fast forwarding so much. Because they didn't even see what happened, but. <gasps> In my time of need, he manifests! The boy! Ah! That better be getting clipped. Just like perfectly cut the clip before I get back up. Just just cut it before I get back up and say to clip that. Just lovely and succinct. <laughs> Okay, chat. I know we got a Tyrannosaur, but hear me out. <laughs> I know we got a Tyrannosaur, but hear me out. They're a good dog. <laughs> They're a good dog. <laughs> hear me out. They're a good boy. <laughs> Oh my god. Are we gonna have, like, a team restructure? Is this what's gonna happen? Are we- are we gonna restructure the entire team? Because I'm like, oh, having Tyranitar would be, like, really good, because Tyranitars have good stats, you know? They're- they're a strong Pokémon. But... Arcanine. We almost- we almost got through the entire game without having an Arcanine. Can you imagine? Here comes the boy! <laughs> well, I feel like that, frankly, is a great place to end. Let's be real. <gasps> Look at him! staring at the sea. That sprite is like actually really nice. I'm only now looking and being like, oh, that's, I don't think I've ever seen that sprite. And I'm trying to think and I'm like, well, yeah, I don't think I've I don't think Growlithes are very easy to obtain in gold and silver, and I'm like... Did I never get an Arcanine in heart gold, soul, silver? Because I don't think I've ever seen this sprite. Dog, 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 dog! I can't post clips to Discord. Oh, th that... The Discord channel is limited to mods. And Voz. <laughs> Hang on. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give you access as well. Yeah, let's give stream friend uh, the ability to post, which is basically just my buds. You can set send messages. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, we had like four people clip the same thing. <laughs> That's how you know that that's some good quality content right there! <laughs> amazing! Amazing! Look at the boy! Manifested! Manifested! 
Oh my goodness. Right, it's five o'clock, so it is time for me to go. Wow, what... What a day. <laughs> Ups and downs. We gained, a, we gained a badge, we lost a friend, and we gained an excellent boy. Alright. Grade time. We're gonna raid into uh, the Blue Canary Gallery. TikTok worthy, maybe actually. There is weirdly there is an inbuilt thing on Twitch to like for format your clips in like a horizontal, but not horizontal in a vertical format for the face. Basically, we're putting it on TikTok. It isn't safe for putting it on TikTok, but let's be honest, that's what it's for. It's for putting it on TikTok and YouTube Shorts and stuff. And I need to get on maybe doing that and putting stuff on TikTok to like try and get myself to grow. Ah, anyway. Right. Where's the raid button? Right, we're gonna go raid into the Blue Canary Gallery. Hey, uh, Eric. And, uh, yeah. Go share all of your emotes, all that jazz. You know the drill. Have a good evening. I'm probably gonna immediately go, because I need to pee real bad, and uh, see what Spook wants to do for dinner. Right. Have a good evening, everybody. I will see you tomorrow for art streams, which, remember, we've got a promotion starting now uh, from, from when we do the art streams. I will talk about it when we are actually doing them because we have to be in the art category but we got a whole thing happening with crunchyroll where you can get like crunchyroll stuff if you gift subs which is amazing so yeah look forward to that anyway have a good day i will see you tomorrow bye